I'm going to show you how to run a program called Sir NG. Uh, it's a custom search engine that doesn't send any of its data to Google and whatnot. And we're going to be using Docker, a free containerization platform that is amazing for all of these self-hosted applications. Uh, we're going to Google Docker Desktop to start, and then we're going to click Docker Desktop. It's going to be the top result there. We're going to go down to Download Docker Desktop for Windows. We're going to click Save to start. We're going to let that download. Awesome. All right, so now we're going to open up the installer. We're going to click Yes on the prompt. Alrighty, fairly easy, fairly simple. Great news. We can start the process of launching our search container. We're going to come over to Images. We're going to click Search Images to Run. We're going to do S-E-A-R-X-N-G. Oh, X-N-G. Alrighty, we're going to click on the first one. We're going to click Run. Alrighty, and green means good. So, uh, you see up there, it gave it a name, Optimistic Austin. Uh, we're going over to our browser now to try and navigate to our search engine. What we're going to do is go to Local, Host, Port 8080. That's that little colon and the 8080. We're going to click Enter. Ta-da! Here is CIRXNG. I suppose that's how you pronounce it. And we could search for anything. Cat photos. Awesome. Well, looky here. Here are your cat photos. We can go up to any one of them and take a little look-see. Now, some of the benefits of using a personal search engine like this is that you are not beholden to Google, Bing, or any of the other data collecting behemoths. You're able to control what data goes in and out, and you're able to use it like Google in practically the same ways. These are the same exact results you get if you search cat photos on Google, uh, just without all the tracking and advertisements and whatnot. Yeah, there you go.